The step sequencer can be used to program your own drum patterns on the fly. Now, uh, before, if you wanted to add live drums over Tractor, you'd have to sync it to like Machine or Ableton, and you'd have to play the drums in Ableton or Machine. Uh, but now you can do it natively inside of Tractor's Remix decks. So there's a few things you got to do to set it up uh, so it's working correctly. To set it up, you're going to go to Preferences, Controller Manager, and then I'm going to click Add, Import TSI, Native Instruments, and then I'm going to choose one of these four step sequencer mappings. I'm going to choose the mapping for Deck B. Okay, and now I'm going to have to set the in port. I'm going to set it to Control F1. And then the next thing I need to do is I need to go to Preferences, Tractor Control F1, and I'm going to change the MIDI mode type to User Map. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm going to load a remix deck into the decks. Okay, so we have our remix deck loaded. All right, so let's start programming some drums. So I'm going to hit Shift and Browse on my F1 controller, and now we are in step sequencer mode. So what we have here is a grid of 16 pads, and we have this yellow pad that's going to scroll through our rows. We can change the number of steps by turning the browse encoder here. Uh, so I'm going to make it 16 steps. What that means is uh, there is 16 steps per beat. So these are 16th notes. So I'm going to select the column that I want to start programming by pushing the mute stop buttons. So I'm going to select column 1. And I'm just going to start pushing some pads and let's see what happens. Okay, so we hear a kick drum happening. Uh, so how it works with the, with the step sequencer, if you have 16 beats loaded, is the first column is the downbeat. So if I just push a pad in, the, in each row of the first column, now I have a 4-4 kick drum. I'm going to switch to column 2, which is my snare, and I'm just going to click on, uh, I'm going to set that to 16 beats as well and I'm going to click on beat 2 and beat 4. Now I don't really like that snare drum, so what I can do to change the sample is I can hold shift and turn the browse encoder and it will change what sample is playing in that column. And then I have a volume for each row right here, and a filter for each row as well. So you can see it's a lot of fun. You can just start going crazy, programming your own drum patterns. And um, if you ever want to assign the effects as well, uh, you can just hold shift and push any of the columns at the bottom and it'll turn on or off the effects for that row. So a lot of fun with the step sequencer. So with the step sequencer, you can 
start adding your own drum patterns uh, over your tracks and uh, just add a whole new dimension to your DJ sets. Thank you.